Okay, hello guys. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how batch operations work. So, uh, so remember, it's really hard to manage for batch operations because there is something that many people don't know is that the um, browser window is actually one of the best uh, tools for batch operations. Okay, so I'm going to show you. Okay, here we have the usual suspect, Manly Barrett, Barnett, whatever. And process branch is how you go for stuff. And oh, I'm gonna also show you so how reference work in this stuff. So uh, references are simply a set of, uh, okay. Oh man, oh man, okay, that's, that wasn't something I wanted to do. So you just saw how I set the same title for, yeah, okay. Uh, you just saw how I set the same title for every single folder and element that is now called Melanie Barnett. Uh, what I wanted to do is set reference. And here you can take the reference registry, show you, accept. And I'm going to give to everything in Melanie Barnett the references that we created when we first imported the article. So now even the task should have the references. Yeah. So the references are really just that. It's a part that's not included in the um, HTML element. So let me show you. As you can see, this ends with the close here. This is the close. Um, the references are not shown in the HTML element. They are a completely different registry. For, um, and what they're really about is to keep track of stuff. So the date is particularly important if you are working with stuff that degrades quickly. Let's say laws. Okay, if you're studying a law, a law book about uh, taxes, you really want that to be updated um, every year or so. Right, so if you see something that uh, has a date of two years or more, you get you you start like questioning yourself, like has been has this section been updated or what? Like in Italy, the laws on work are pretty much changed every six months, so making items on that is very hard. Uh, but at the same time, you can use that to sort through stuff. Okay. Source, link, comment. To set references, you can use Alt T. You can use Alt T for the title. Alt T. And you can set the title and you just do this. Okay. Uh, change references only because you're to display the elements. Changes only here. Uh, this would change everything. Um, the title of every single element. I'm going to show you. Um, into this title. Uh, this is gonna combine the two and this is gonna cancel this the thing and uh, uh, make void the operation. And I want to change only this element. Okay, and that's it. So references are not complicated and you can also use Alt Q. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go on um, less wrong and let's import um post or uh, an article right let's see let's see let's see let's see recommendations come on predictably wrong okay uh the martial of the rationality yeah so i want to open this in explorer use parse article and now we have it okay you import with Control shift a there's nothing really hard about that uh, I've talked about making an import lesson, but I think that it's it's it would be useless. Honestly, you don't need an import lesson if it's like freezes. It's just because um, the script here gives you this, so you have to click on the Internet Explorer thing. So this is the title here. So Alt T, and you have the title. Oh, is did I already set the title? Oh, yeah. 
Okay, it's already set the title, but we want to change the title to this. Okay. Mm, and that and there we go. Um we want to know who the author is, honestly. Oh Eliza, you that. So we say this, alt Q author uh source where bimpert no we want source less wrong alt q source that's wrong and that should be it the date we the mm, i think that we want this date like the, the when the blog post has been written so we say set 22nd of november Written the on the twenty second. You can just put the the date without written on the but okay and there you go. Now we do a simple this and this. You use this with alt left, alt right, same thing, and there you go. The martial art of rationality. Oh, I am. A, did I just? Oh yeah, I, I'm an idiot, sorry. Okay, alt left, alt right. And you can see your very beautiful references. You have also the link here, so you can check that whenever you want. And you can use this. So now um, back to our batch operations process branch. Learning is pretty much the core of our batch processing. You, I, we just saw, nope, I don't care. Um, we just saw how um stuff works uh, about postpone and advance and priority. So this is not in today's lessons. Okay, learn is simply if you do Control L, which is the same of doing process branch learn learn. You just uh do a subset review, which means that you start reviewing stuff from that. Okay. So if I click here on writing and I say control L, no more in the L. Let's do some batch operations, process branch, learning, and we're gonna add to outstanding all the elements scheduled in the future. If we did this, even stuff that's not scheduled in the future would be added to outstanding. And what's that? That's probably just um things that you still have to memorize. And to remember, sorry, which is this. So let's okay, let's let's do some interesting batch operations. So let's forget this. Forgetting just means that it goes out of your learning process and it goes into another stage of learning process. You can see it here, stages, which is new material. You have the outstanding stage, which is your normal repetitions, the drill stage that we have already seen. New material is when you uh, maybe import uh, external collections and their, their status is this Azure here, which means that you have to do repetitions of this in the stage of new, of new material to have them become like this. Or you can do process branch, memorize, learning, remember. I, I don't know why I continue to say memorize, okay? Uh, done, undismiss, and dismiss do what you probably know, like you dismiss all the branch or you undismiss all the branch. Done is the same thing, Control shift enter which dismisses and deletes the content and if the element is the last and has no children, it will be deleted. Okay, so we can add now to outstanding. Uh, so that I can show you process branch learning add to outstanding every which element uh nineteen yes oh wait is this the um... okay seven conversions done and now you see that this here still has zero as an interval if we did process branch. 
learning at all to outstanding. Oh, it doesn't count them because apparently you have to remember them first. Okay, that's strange. Okay, you're gonna do remember default optimum interval. But we don't really care. Be careful because you just remembered also the folders. You have to dismiss the folder. And now you go. There you go. Now you can do process branch learning add all to outstanding zero conversion done. Okay, this is strange. Process learning add all to outstanding. So, uh, sorry guys, I was quickly checking Super Memopedia. Um, the difference uh, is not what I mentioned uh, before in the part that I hope that it has been cut, but the highlighted branch, so process branch learn, add all to outstanding works unless the elements are dismissed. So it doesn't work on new material, that's why it didn't add them. The add all to outstanding though, will violate the spacing effect rules. So even if you already reviewed the stuff on that day, uh, it will not add that. Um, that's what add to outstanding does, okay? The original date of the element is not modified by add to outstanding. However, it is modified if the element subject to a position as a result for add to outstanding. And that's it, okay? Um, also, there is this video here. I highly recommend you watch this because my videos are just an extension of the documentation as I would like to remember you. Um, Wozniak video is very clear about this. I watched this in the past, uh, obviously forgetting some of these functions, but add all to outstanding is the way to go if you want a messy thing. Otherwise, I think that Mm, spread uh, is still like we saw spread in the best lesson in the last lesson and I still prefer using spread over add to all outstanding the best batch processing operation to not screw up thing is a random test so it will be randomly tested on this stuff the um, elements will not uh, influence the learning process. So whatever uh, mark you put on the element, it will not change anything in the learning process if you do. Right click, tools, random test. Okay, uh, we will see this in a, another video, process branch. Um, so learning, done, and that's it. Okay, without rescheduling. Okay, okay, okay. So this doesn't violate today's stuff mostly, and this does. That's the big difference, okay? Let's not get confused. Reset history, uh, ooh, this is a big no-no. Yeah, this resets the repetition history. Uh, don't, don't, don't do that, please, don't do that. Don't, don't be... Um, forget an in index is the... Um, ratio of stuff you forget you don't want to really want to screw up with this a factor could be useful to modify the a factor if you have a folder with a lot of topics that you really want to go day by day but i advise you you do not do that because it's better to change that by hand and to postpone by hand unless you have a huge humongous collection Ordinal, it's beyond the scope of this course. Export is um, Q&A is the main form of export, is the one I ad advise you use if you want to export something. Um, and you mainly use this to uh, give your cards to someone else. Q&A only keeps the question and answer, so be careful, otherwise you use probably this document, export as a single document, uh, move, it's, uh, we can move this as a folder, you, you should probably just like drag this if you want to do this, just saying, um, okay, template, this is one of the other thing I use, so apply template, you can apply 
the same template to all the stuff here. Okay, so let's say we have three items from. Okay, let, let's do something quirky. Okay, let's do math and then let's add five items or seven. Why not? So let's do process branch, template, apply template. And let's put this like we like we have this template right now. Okay, so math, process branch, template, apply template. Uh, and you apply this to all of the of the descendants. And also the concept, uh, the, the level you click on takes on the template for some reason. And so you're welcome. Now they all have this. Obviously, if you have a lot of templates, I do. It's a very interesting um, tool. Otherwise, you're probably not going to use that. Uh, okay. Detach template, same thing. In post template, uh, it's basically the control shift F2. Uh, that we saw in the past lessons. Um, replace it places, adds the content of a template to all elements. So you may add like a sound component to all elements. Okay. Um, we could probably see this in a later lesson. I don't think it's good to dwell on it right now. So you can change the type here of all stuff into something if you want to make all items, all topics, or all concepts out of the elements that are descendants of this stuff. Okay, and set concept group. So if something of this is not math, you go here, math, one conversion done, because one of these wasn't from math. I don't know which one. Uh, it probably just counted the concept, honestly. Okay. What I just did is Ctrl F. Uh, if you do Ctrl F while something here is selected, it will search into that branch. If you do, let's say I do Ctrl F here, it will search only for that folder. If you notice that, click Ask a few times and redo that, and it will change. Okay, simple. Um, Ctrl F lets you search uh, between all the elements, and this is one of the most powerful functions. So let's say I want something like four. I want to search for things that have four in them. And I want to search for this. Oh, not four, three. I want to search for three, okay? And now I have a few elements, uh, so I can see it at a glance. But if I didn't, I would be filtering them with all of this. Uh, I'm gonna put an end to this lesson and continue in the next one uh, with content browser filtering, selections, and operations. So, see you in the second part.